back. We are rolling. Rolling. Sound is speed. Yeah, there are some really fucking lame filming turds that I just piss me off to this day. We sound is speed. Oh no, this one's just jiggling. Oh, whoa, it's jiggle jangle. Jiggly <laughs> But that's uh, never happened before. Yeah, because it's normally sitting on this thing here. At work yesterday, we was having like this discussion about like you know women you find attractive, particularly like the, the Hollywood women, and like everybody I brought up, I was like you know Brie Lawson, certain ones like that. All my white friends were like, "That's all basic." Basic? <laughs> yeah, yeah like, like, they were, like most of the white girls I was talking about, except for Kat Dennings, Christina Hendricks, they were like, "That's all basic." I was like, "What do you mean?" She's like, "We see that everywhere." <laughs> Where they're from in the neighborhoods, like Brie Larson gives me lesbian vibes, so. But she's like, like I guess, like average for most people, because like, remember when Ben Affleck was dating Jennifer Lopez? Everyone in the Bronx was like, "Yo, you can find someone better than Jennifer." But to Ben Affleck, she was like the hottest fucking thing in the world. Never because he's never it. really seen exactly. it that much. That's I think that's why. the same thing. It's like you don't see a lot of white girls in where I come from, so it's like, oh, oh she's hot. Some boy doing up here. Everybody's like, oh, that's basic. Like, you can move the fuck up a little bit, jackass. Like, come on. Oh, fuck yeah. Move up. What's the fuck you doing? He's gonna come out with a <laughs> <shit>. fucking <laughs> idiot. He's an Asian driver. Oh, fuck. That's racist. It's not racist if it's fucking true. <laughs> <laughs> he is an Asian driver. <laughs> he happens to be Asian. It's the implications of his driving skills associated with his race. You would think to be good at drivers, though. They're really good at like martial arts and shit. They lose a lot of Tokyo Drift? Things. I don't know. The records for most Asian dudes in the UFC is pretty bad. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> well, I do, I've, I've been watching judo this morning for the Olympics. It's pretty fun. Like, I watch these two girls go at it, one from Spain and one from France. Dude, the French girl was cute. She was real hot. But they also, they were they're tiny. They were very small. This kind of shot. Well, you have to be like to right? that kind of, kind of lean. Thing. Can you imagine trying to flip someone who's like 200 fucking pounds? That's difficult. Okay, let's talk about the Olympics. You saw the opening? It's fucking sick. Loved it. I got a problem with it. Why? It was too too French for you? Mm. They're French. The hooded guy was sick. The hooded guy was was good because it was giving off uh Marcus, what is the game? Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed. Oh, okay. That's what it gave off. It gave off Assassin's like Creed part. I'm gonna pull over because this fucking thing is jiggling. Um <clears throat> We can still talk about yeah, it. Yeah, don't cut it. We're on, we're on um, a moon right here. So, the, the starting of that thing, right? Did, did you see they re reenacted The Last Supper? Oh, yeah. But who was in it? Uh, I don't know. It was all trans people. Really? Oh, that thing. Reenacting The, the, the Last the Supper. That, yeah. I'm like, why, why, why are we doing that? Like, why are we bringing in the religious factor of it? That's the only thing uh, that really pissed me here's, here's off. Here's the thing I love about that stuff. All right, so they you put, love? No, oh. the, the, it's the irony of it all. Uh -huh. So they put that in to like, you know, most Western what, movies, games, nice in the Olympics. Can you imagine if they was holding, hosting the Olympics in Dubai? Oh, it, that would never or happen. United Emirates? Do you think those trans dudes would be there? No. Hell no. Cause these guys don't care about that stuff. They really just want to bend the knee to like, you know, in the Western world to show, look, we're progressive. But when it comes over to go into certain other places with the different morals and ideals, you don't want to touch that cause you don't want to lose money. Well, what's weird to me is like, why bring in like Christian shit to a uh, opening ceremony? Like I like trans or not, like it's just, like it's gonna shake. Yeah, but who do you think they appease? Do you think they're going to appease Christians? Or that's more to piss off Christians? Well, that's more Christians. to piss off Christians. That's what they were trying to do. They just trying to piss those guys off. Oh, uh, did you see the guy Ryan Garcia just go off on that shit too on Twitter? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He was fucking pissed. Ryan Garcia, man. He was like, it's a mental fucking illness. Um, it's crazy how they do You know who just went off on that of calling it a mental, a woke-minded illness? Yeah, Elon Musk. Elon Musk. They ruined his son. And it's funny. 26, 24. What's his name? Really? Nah, it's something like that. No, is is Ezekiel or something was his son's name. Whatever you name them, it's kind of fucked up. And it's funny, it just shows you that it doesn't matter how much money you have, you fall for it. Because you don't want people that you love to die. That's how they, that's how they sell these people, like the, the parents. Like, oh, if you don't give them this gender-affirming care, 
They're gonna commit suicide. That girl has really small feet. Why she should have big feet? Will like his women with big feet. Like big feet. Will like size, size 10 and up. You know what they say about big feet? Big clit. <laughs> Am I right, guys? Yeah. <laughs> nah, I heard big feet means a big dick. So that's, <laughs> that's what you're looking for, Will. Those big dick bitches. <laughs> big dick bitches. Where they at? Sing the trans. Where they at? Where her they dick. At? <laughs> it's his it's her BDBs. BDBs, big dick bitches. <laughs> No more, no more big dick energy. It's her <laughs> dick energy. Women power. Her story. Yeah, it's getting hot. Yeah, yeah, it is getting hot. But then you gotta worry about the sound. Too. I don't think it's that bad. What? Is it? Do you, do you think it comes off? The sound? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're gonna hear the <laughs> as we're talking. I hate when they shoot in locations. <laughs> they do that shit. They take the sound. They take oh, the AC off. So, like, God, it's dang. so brutal. It was like 98 outside, and you got this freaking, all the heat. Yeah, like, just just wait until I get close to the oh, fucking and turn and turn in slow. Road. This is New York people. What the hell are you doing? What are you trying to do? A, oh, God. Is this Asian guy? Yeah, no, it's another Asian guy. See? Two for but two. You see what I mean? It's like, no, we're Reese's now, all right? <laughs> I'm just saying. He's putting it out. It's like, who turns oh. like that? Oh, my God. This area of Bushwick is fun. Real, that's new though. This place at nighttime gets really fucking weird. Mm -hmm. Where's uh? There's so many like underground clubs and shit that yeah. you don't know about that is here. This elsewhere is right up here, right? Yeah, but elsewhere, you know, that's advertised. Yeah, 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 there, it is. there it is. Um, we shot the then, ones. This bar is just opened up. It's kind of cool. Yeah, it used to be a tire shop. Yeah? It's a bar now? Yeah. It's got a rooftop and everything. I wanted to check it out. Um, uh, we're switching it up today. We're going to the Mass Bet area. Ridgewood. Show the real New York. Show the, show the people the real New York. Not this Fort Greene, Williamsburg bullshit. There's another like restaurant that I opened up with too, like 154 Scott Avenue. Same owner as 99. Oh, that's your girlfriend. Adriana. I hope she watches this. <laughs> I'm about to say, oh, shit. <laughs> oh, Oops! <God. laughs> I was joking, I was joking. <laughs> oh. But yeah, no, I'm I'm excited for the one big I'm I'm excited for all the track events. That's all I won't care about. Like, who do you? Which country? Do, Amer I think America is gonna have more gold than anyone else. They're they're gonna have. They're already killing it right now. It's only been one day. What already started? Someone won gold this morning on something. I forget what it was. Oh, I was looking up this NBA. Um, NBA. The U.S. basketball team is going to face more NBA players in other countries. This Olympic. Yeah, because the NBA is expanding. Right? Yeah. It's getting out there. Well, it's crazy how, like, other countries are, like, just better at basketball. Because they do, they it. stick to the fundamentals. It's plain and simple. Like, we all about the flash, you know, like, dunking. And, like, I, like, for example, remember when, when um, Harden was doing that, I guess, what is that, a step back three? Mm -hmm. Whatever. It was a travel. You can't <laughs> do that in Europe. Like, you like, travel. It's funny, this morning I saw, I think it's North Korea. Mm hmm. I think it's North Korea one, or South Korea. I don't know South which one. They're basketball league. If you dunk, it's three points. Really? If you oh, dunk, yeah. it's three points. If you miss a free throw, it deducts a point. Oh, my gosh. Um, I love that. The last... That's awesome. The last, um, I think, I don't know, I, the last couple minutes of the game, then if you make... Anything, if you make three pointers, it's like four points. Okay. Like it's it's crazy. Cool. Um, they need to do something like that for the WNBA because they drown. But it's crazy. Like ah, Kathleen uh, Clark, she's really Caitlin real. Right, Caitlin. They, yeah, but they need to lower the rim so they can start dunking and put them in thongs. It just doesn't. <laughs> oh, <laughs> now it's all good. 
Now we're not getting if, behind that. And if you can't do thongs, booty shorts. From some, just something where more ass cheeks hang out. I honestly, you know, Damn. I don't agree with you on that one. I do. Because half of those women, you see them in thongs. It's going to be like, ah. Oh, All right, uh. but, but here's your question. Here's your question. <laughs> ah. But here's a question, Calvin. Uh -huh. Would you want to see her and any of those unattractive women in thongs? Or you want to see a Miguel in a thong? You're always going to choose the girl, no matter how ugly she looks. Um, You're going to get eyes. Yeah. It's, sure. it's, a, it's a train wreck. That's what you're paying for. You're paying for the train wreck. You, you don't turn away from the train wreck when you see when you're driving by. You know, or, or you, you, you want to look at the wreck. So it's going to be entertaining one way or another. No, I mean, I, mean, I, 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 can, I can get behind that, but yeah, I mean, what are what are like the average booties look like for? for well, they're for fit. You, you gotta admit, I mean, it can't, it can't be all that bad. Like, do they have big booties? They kind of slim. Some of them do. Oh, what's up with this dude? The one that went to uh, Russia and got uh, Russia was it Russia and got um, Brittany Griner? Yeah. He's a, this uh, dude. This dude. <laughs> <laughs> the reason why I say that. I heard he's a father now. <laughs> yeah. They're like, oh, you're going to be a mom. And then he was like, oh, no, no, no. I'm going to be a pops. And they're like, <sighs> oh. This shit do got a penis, huh? I mean, he was running around with his shirt off. Really? Yes. Brittany Griner? Yes. When? They, they got, um, it, it was on, I don't know. Instagram, some social media thing, but shirt off and like no breast, are they cut off? Just the chest, just, like got just flat boots. chest. No, yeah. flat chest, like dude, flat chested. Where it got to the point where people are like, Wait, was this a guy the whole time and just got into <laughs> Bro, the WNBA? Shit. Well, I mean, oh. you gotta, not every woman has something. Maybe maybe the Russians cut them off to do like little experiments. No. We will make you. No, I thought great. Brittany ever had it. It's like greatest. <laughs> Brittany <laughs> Griner is like tall as shit. Very very lean, they're athletic. They're trying to make her into like the Winter Soldier. Like we'll brainwash you to be best female male basketball player <sighs> for early. Even her voice is like very massive. Yeah. So you're saying that like all along she was. I just I think, think it's, it's a guy. Testosterone. I just think it's a guy. I think it's, think it's a lady. Just think it's a lot of testosterone. Some dudes would kill for that testosterone. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah not me, though. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I don't need it. I don't fucking need it, dude. I got the world's biggest clit. <laughs> <laughs> Elongated. Well, you guys don't have a clit. <laughs> you guys don't squirt? <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. You're, you're fucking that. smart. You know that? Jesus Christ. I don't get fucking people. Yeah, yeah, the, you're the worst drivers in like on Saturdays. Everybody's talking. You're the weekend drivers. It's the fucking weekend drivers. I hate mm -hmm. weekend drivers. Mm hmm. Taking up the entire road, going slow. The Mass Pass is a cute little town. Little village. It's not right. 1642. Massbeth has been here since 1642. Yeah, it's weird. What the? How is that possible? Dude? <laughs> that we, got here, we got here. We got here in 1619. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you're telling me founded in 1642. Right. So you're, you're telling me like 30 years after we got here, we made, first, we made a settlement in Virginia and in, in fucking Plymouth that they're like, oh, this random place in Queens looks cool too. Yeah, this is Massbeth. <laughs> <laughs> Hundreds of miles away. I guess you have this weird underdog house cemetery. Underdog. <laughs> you never know. This might be part of that, right? The history of Massbeth. You may find someone dead there from that time period. Yeah, back. I, I gotta do some investigating because that is old. Yeah, old. Yeah, you bad. fucking humpback mother. <laughs> Shit, I'm putting him out of misery. <laughs> Put him out of misery. Fucking end that hump. I wonder though, a lot, I see a lot of people jaywalk in very busy traffic areas. And no, I wonder if they do people that. don't give a fuck. Anymore. Either they don't give a fuck or they're trying to get hit to get some kind of money out of it. But then, also, it depends like how you hit the person. It might not be your fault as a driver. What's going on there? Some kind of deal? 
I just don't understand why they gotta park right in the fucking crosswalk. I never understood that shit. Yeah. Because then people who have to walk the crosswalk has to go out into the goddamn street to get by the fucking truck. People don't care about their surroundings. I feel like this camera's pissing you off. Yeah, it is. It is pissing me off. It's like shaking. Shaky cam. Mass Beth, home of heroes. What was the difference from last time? Because it was like resting on the... Yeah. Dashboard. Mm -hmm. Fleetwood Mac, a Fleetwood Mac tribute band. Let's get Fleetwood smacked. <laughs> <laughs> fucking crack on his first spoon. Oh, we would smack. <laughs> oh, I'm about to have some dreams right now. I know the, this guy. I can't say his name. But the story goes that he went to go buy some coke. And he, it was from these shady guys. He's never done this before, but he was in the area. And he was in the pinch, so he needed it. So he goes in there. He pays for his coke. And these guys are smoking crack. And he's about to leave. He's like, you can't leave yet. He just, huh. he's like, in a nervous tone, like, why? Because you got to smoke some crack. Yeah, you gotta smoke it. You gotta, you gotta be cool. <laughs> He's like, nah, I don't want any crack. So he pulled a gun out of the guy. <laughs> and and they made him smoke crack. And I said, what do you do? He says, I, I smoked that crack. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, that, that's... God. That is insane. Like, all I wanted was just coke. coke. I don't want to <laughs> Yo! And he said, but he said it. He was like, that's... Now he understands when people who do cocaine, why they shift the crack when it's like, when they can't do it. No, it doesn't hit them in the, you know, the same anymore. Because that first hit, that crack, you're gonna feel it. Oh, uh, so it's like once, it's like, uh, so you're like, once you, once you go dragon. VIP, you yeah. can't go back. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Say it again. So once you do crack, what? Look at that shit. His hand is like, come here, come here. So, like, say you do, like, say you do, like, you've been doing cocaine forever, right? Mm -hmm. Or whatever your drug, whatever your drug of choice. And say you've done it so much so your body builds such a tolerance that you need something stronger. Crack is sometimes that gateway for the, it's that like next step in that process of keep, keeping the high or getting a better high mm -hmm. so people jump on crack and crack the first hit apparently is like so like wow it's like you know what i'm saying like it hits you in a way where you will never get that again mm -hmm. and that's how these fools get like, addicted to it you uh, just keep yeah. chasing that high and you get strung out on crack and crack is very powerful shit i used to work at this party city this one yeah and this used to be a blockbuster The TD Bank? Yeah, it used to be a blockbuster. I used to, on my uh, break, I used to just come into the blockbuster and just want to look at all the movies. <laughs> blockbuster was One the day best. I'll make it in the film I used to world. love blockbuster. Me too. They should have. Uh... Yo, when they were going out of business, you know how much shit I got? It's their fault, though. It's their fault. It is their own fault. Uh, they could have created something like of a Netflix, but they chose well, not to. Well, Netflix was trying to get them on. Netflix was the Red Box and all those guys, like, look. You should join us. This is a future of this is a future yeah. of you know. And it's like, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Now everybody's gonna want to come in and touch the uh, VHS or DVD forever. Although I did love, uh, I would go in there and just get Star Wars Bounty Hunter for like a week and then return it. And then basically once I return it, like I have kind of wanted again. No, I'm not done yet playing. And reading video games didn't make sense to me because like you have to beat it, but like sometimes games don't take like they take a while. So it's like. Oh yeah, I remember they did that. They rent you could rent games as well. That was a good thing about it. Yeah, they had some really good stuff in there too. They had some stuff in there you couldn't even get on like game style to be really random shit. But yeah, Star Wars Bounty Hunter I could never find to buy, but they always had it at Blockbuster. Playing as Django Fett, just like we're jetpacking the entire time. Django. They bring back Django Fett. Star Wars. Star Wars. Did you watch the Acolyte? No, I uh, heard it was terrible. weird. Yeah, I heard like the very heard Star end. Wars is getting more gayer and gayer. Yeah, but they said the Force is female. It's always been kind of gay. The Force is what? Female. That's what it. does this guy have to say about this stuff? He gave up. He stopped. He's like, just, just give me my money for the rights, and that's it. Uh, but he's not liking it. I tell you that much. He doesn't like what he sees. Right. But he just can't really say anything. You That's what happened when you give anything to Disney. Mm -hmm. yeah, just, Disney tend to just screw everything up because they want to make it so family friendly and make toys out of it. I love when like Harrison Ford does those like fucking press tours or whatever. Like, did did you sh did Han shoot first or did Bodo shoot first? <laughs> He's like, I really don't give a 
<laughs> Who gives a You're fuck? Gay. <laughs> My former, he smoked weed with him once. On the job. That was job. Wait, smoked weed with Harrison Ford? Mm hmm. You can see that. He's a big pothead. Nice. He looks like he fucked him. You know, he used to be a carpenter, right? Before he. Yeah, but it's crazy because like a carpenter in the industry, or mm -hmm. just like a, really, like Star Wars is is fine, whatever. But like, if you if you become like an actor for like Star Trek, you you are that actor. Like you yeah. have to go to all those yes. comic cons. Like you have to be that person for all these fucking nerds. But Star Wars is like, John was that John Boyega was like just talking shit. Like it's like yeah, I fuck Ray. Yeah, fuck Ray. It's so, <laughs> like you're like not yeah. true. It's like yeah, the Force. I mean, no, you know he doesn't. <laughs> I love John Boyega. <laughs> I gave her the force. You gave China doesn't love him. China doesn't no. like him. Come on, you ever seen the promotion? It's old as shit. But the, when he first, that first movie they came out with him in, John Boyega, the advertisement on these the promotional, po what's that movie promotional? Whatever the poster, the poster for America and China were two different ones. So like he's very prominent. You can see his face. He's all blown up and American. But when you go to China, they shrunk him down and they stuffed him in the back. So you can hardly see him. <laughs> this, that's I mean that's what these so-called woke Disney. You know, oh we all for inclusion and yeah, yeah right. Until they start hurting your money. Do you know what pissed me off is they nerfed Oscar Isaac's character in that mm -hmm. remake, whatever, like, they just completely nerfed him. Because he was supposed to, I thought he was going to be like the Han Solo badass, like, Han Solo. like, Devil May Cry kind of attitude. But instead he's like, oh, Leia, all oh, right, oh my god, I love you guys so much. He's like, dude, is it like hugging fucking John Boyega, like, every scene? It's like, no, that's not, Han doesn't do that shit. If you're trying to, like, make a little reenact, you know, reboot of Star Wars, what are mm -hmm. trying to do there? I mean, that's what I liked about the first, like, episode one and two and three. It's like, at least they're doing something different, like... And that's when you had George Lucas there, too. Yeah. It's like... Different setting and style. But George Lucas is, like, his lore was all over the place. Like, he was shift Even when he was writing a lot of it, he was changing things and, and shifting things. That's why it yeah. kind of... It sucks, because it kind of... Even though you know certain things are set in stone the way you write it, but that's what gives people such liberty because like certain things just don't add what up. What are you like, doing? Wait, what are you themselves. doing? Um, that's why the act like was so confusing with the witches and they're like, yeah, they, they somehow birthed children using the force when there's no males involved. It was like all kinds of weird shit to it. Is this like an that. Asian episode now? We've got two Asian drivers that like couldn't drive very well. Then we talked about uh, Star Wars and China. And then look at where we're at. Yeah. <laughs> well, the, the guy from... Uh, this is not even planned. The, <laughs> this is the, this episode is brought to you by... <laughs> oh, shit. very... <laughs> Ninja Turtles. <laughs> Wait, have you oh. seen? Dude, there's this uh, bit. This guy, um, Michelangelo. He's like, he's like, he's like, <laughs> it's like every year. Leonardo. <laughs> Raphael. He's like every year they make a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie, and we're just gonna be okay that there's just a guy voicing this rat because. Hey, we're gonna go get Shredder! And then it comes to uh, Splinter. Wait one a second! <laughs> <laughs> and the actor's probably not even Asian. The last one oh. they used Jackie Chan. They used Jackie Chan. Jackie Chan is Chinese, and they. Yeah, wait <laughs> one a second! <laughs> and then also, what this makes sense to me is like Michelangelo has this like valley girl. Oh action. my god! Holy Jesus shit. Christ! <laughs> Oh, yeah, take your time. Oh, yeah. yeah, move over. Move over. He's a Lego. Look at this one walking in the middle of the street. <laughs> Bam. These are different, man. No fucks given. No fucks given. No. Yeah. You're going you to try to fucking drive up on him. He's going to miss Miyagi. Your fucking head to tell you. Yep, head like yep. just one chop. <laughs> yeah. Oh, stupid yeah. boy. Yeah, stupid the boy, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, super <laughs> No, wait, how do we do the no, sign I, I don't understand though. You have Michelangelo who has a Valley Girl accent. Uh -huh. You have Raphael who's like, oh, fuck up, <laughs> 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 You have Leonardo who's like, yeah, surfer yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. And then I have Donatello, he's got like an Italian accent. Like, it's all over. This I'm teenage at all in all different fucking places of the world. <laughs> Well, they didn't te technically. Their be, dad's Chinese. <laughs> but to be fair to these guys, they were not planning to make them so kiddish. 
the original comic books, the way they wrote them was very dark. They was doing like some Batman shit. Mm -hmm. It was yeah, they were fighting crime and when they were fighting crime, they weren't just kicking motherfuckers in the faces. They were chopping the dudes' heads off. Like, I wanna see a gritty like, fucking Ninja like Leonardo Turtles was shit. doing some chopping and, and Raphael was doing some slicing and dicing. They were not fucking around. I would love it if yeah. they did it like uh like a Teenage Mutant Turtles where like you don't really see them at all. And that's how they originally was supposed yeah. to be written in. Like actually ninjas and I'm like Pizza! Pizza dude. We're gonna go fuck Meg! <laughs> <laughs> High five! Run train! <laughs> Run train! <laughs> But then it got stupid they, when they got a vehicle when they started driving. Meg. Oh shit! Who is Meg? I think I think I don't know. I thought it was April. <laughs> and then Casey Jones. Casey Jones. He was cool. I like Casey he was Jones. Piping April. He was definitely. And then the teenager in the cops are like, wait a minute. That's another thing. How would he survive? Like. Once they're dead, there's no more Ninja Turtles. They can't, they have no one to fuck, really. Yeah. And they're teenagers. They don't even think about getting their the, the winkies whack. Like, they should definitely. When I was 13, it was over. They should <laughs> like, definitely do a boy's a situation <laughs> where it's like the, the turtles and they just like fucking animals, like rats, whatever. <laughs> oh, they just like <laughs> mutated together, like created some kind of oh, weird shit. That's <laughs> like a turtle that's rat. Yo, uh, like Sam Rockwell's debut was in the, one of the first Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles yes, movies. Yes, yes. He was like in that underground club. Yeah. yeah. The, yeah the, Sam the foot. Rockwell the foot. The is foot. a natural treasure. Dude, he is the he best. He needs to be protected at all costs. This is what we're doing now. We're just going to cross. Fucking However, corona. come on. Go, 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 go. Damn. Yeah, if you're going to be there, you've had a yeah. shit. I mean, I'm not gonna be an asshole about it. You know what yeah, I mean? No, like, but just, like, if they're gonna be assertive like that, then we might as well just be 100 percent about it and not just be in the middle. And then the bus fucking just eats up two lanes. The bus. Roosevelt Avenue. Oh, we're in Roosevelt Avenue. We're in a uh, red light district. This we'll is the red out. light district we'll see you now, right? Out. Yo, can you drop me off real quick? <laughs> <laughs> I'll be right. I'll be right back. back. Like long time. Massage, sassy. Massage. Wait a one second. What? <laughs> what, if I, what if I go up to one of them like, oh yeah, yeah, you know, like, like, just speak English. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Imagine yeah. she's like, just speak English, faggot. <laughs> what, what, do what do you, you want? Like, what do you, you say want? all that and not realize you actually said something in Japanese, like, I want the dodo special. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then again, comes like a giant suit wrestler. Someone say <laughs> someone special. <laughs> No, 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 no. They look at you and bow. Uh, and you're no, like, like what? Already, you already paid. You have to take it. Yeah. You must pay. You have paid already. If you don't take it, we do choppy choppy. This is just honorable. Choppy. <laughs> you pay me, I must suck dick. It's honorable. <laughs> that was, uh, Marcus, remember the WWE, Val WWF Venus. with Val Venus? <laughs> yeah, Val sucks. Venus? So Val like Venus, he was a, uh, porn, a star. porn star wrestler. Oh, uh, and he, Hello, ladies. He messed around with this, like you said, it was like a Japanese family. And he messed around, I guess, with the, the father's daughter. And then they had to do a choppy choppy to him. So <laughs> they, they held him. him. They tied him with his arms up. And he whacked his dick with a fucking bamboo stick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the storylines back then. They didn't give no fucks back in the day. Yo, WWE was on some other level. I mean, fucking Shawn Michaels super kicked a fucking child. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. What, what was the one? Was the ladder fight for the custody of the kid? What was that one? The ladder fight for the custody, the custody of the kid. There's like a big like. Uh, is, are you talking about Rey Mysterio and Eddie Guerrero? I think or so. it, was, it was like which aged so well <laughs> Why? because Dominic is now a wrestler. Yeah. And yeah, and um. And now they're recreating the storyline because remember, Marcus, remember Eddie Guerrero had this thing with China? Oh, yeah, when he was messing around with Now her, Domin yeah. no, Dominic's doing it with Rhea Ripley now. Oh. So they're doing that whole storyline. They're reenacting that whole storyline again. I remember when they bought on Eddie Guerrero's real wife? That was kind of. Vicky. Yeah, Vicky, Vicky Guerrero. Oh, that was really they were just trying to give her work so they could survive for the family because he yeah. was a breadwinner. <clears throat> Which is like, it was cool. Which is good for him doing that. And she was actually not a bad heel. No, she was, she was, uh, really she was good. real good. Yeah. I don't think I can handle an Asian girl from Yes, you can. Well, it'd be hilarious. Like, why? Uh, why Why would you say, well, how did that just pop up? Uh, just do it, you white guys. You guys are weird. Yeah, we are weird. I don't think I can just fucking do it. Why, 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 why do I want to do it? 
be a quitter. Don't be a quitter. <laughs> I didn't even start it. <laughs> it's like, hey, Dad, this is my boyfriend, Will. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, <laughs> Asians <laughs> love. Oh, Will. Oh, Will, white man, he good. Oh, <laughs> Will, good. Credit score. Oh, is, is he lawyer or doctor? He works in film. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. And then me counting. Oh no, not you. Like, oh no, no. You cannot come in. Credit <laughs> score, no good. <laughs> He's like, it's 300. <laughs> He like, he like tries to kill himself, but it like failed, doesn't work, so he's just like on the bed, like, Hey dad, you feeling better? It is, uh, end me. <laughs> kill me now. Do you want to know what his, his, his big account? What is it, dad? Negative zero. <laughs> <laughs> not possible. <laughs> Mathematics does not work. There is no math for negative zero. <laughs> Los Tacos de la Jefe. Boss Tacos? Boss Tacos, eh? Boss. Yo, I heard some very disturbing news just oh, now. Spill it. Going it's very bad. So I, Why? Kamala is Harris is running for oh, president? Oh, fuck that bitch. I'm done with her. <laughs> <laughs> from a coconut tree? <laughs> Worse than that. So I have a buddy, 10 years as a comedian, who worked. And he was in the circles of some of the greats. I'm talking about like Chris Rock. He's got passed up over jobs for fucking Seinfeld. All those guys. He's met Shane Gillis. He knows Tim Dillon personally. That was his fucking roommate. I did not know. Like Tim Dillon. Yeah, I did not know that. That this guy, Chris Rock, never wrote apparently a joke in his fucking life. What? What? Um, he can just deliver them. Yeah, he's so people been writing him jokes since the beginning. But but here's the, the thing: how, how do they know this? Because oh my gosh, what was the dude? The dude, not Bill Burr, is the other one, the one who was caught jacking off. Uh, oh, he used to care? yeah. Yes, he used to write for. Um, he's been friends with Chris Rock since he was like forever. He That's why. Did you, did you see that that bit where Chris Rock, Seinfeld, and Louis C.K. was in a room and Louis C.K. was say, just saying the N-word, like Chris oh. was telling him that, yeah, hey, go ahead and say it, and like Seinfeld, Jerry Seinfeld was sitting there and he's like, guys, I, I don't find this funny. And then they're like, uh, they're like, no, no, no. Chris is like, oh, no, no. And Lucy K, oh, no, we're, but you know, we've been boys, but and Jerry's like, I still, I don't Man. care. I don't find it <laughs> hilarious. Just, uh, but yeah, he's he's apparently he was writing jokes for this guy. Really? Well, as long as he can deliver it, though. I mean, I like, I think I a mean, lot of at the end of the day, he, he's an actor and he had lines and he yeah. delivered his lines. And he was like, oh, there's a lot of them. He's like, you know, he's just they they write. He he even wrote for other comedians. Cause like they work in the green room together. Like they just bounce ideas and yeah. jokes. He has people steal jokes from you. That's why he says you never tell other comedians your best joke. No. I never, I never, never really considered Chris Rock in my top five or ten. Really? No, not really. I just, for me, is like Chris Rock felt like he was like complaining a lot more. Mm -hmm. I wish I had a good expression. Um, there are two types of black people. <laughs> <laughs> you just sound like a, a, a country redneck. Two types, <laughs> two of, two of, types of people. There are two types of rednecks. You got beep. No, you got beep. It, it sounds like you know you're like a redneck who watched a Chris Rock special. You just telling to the rednecks about the joke. Oh, you should have heard it. He's oh, like, ten dollar massage. Oh. Come in, big boy. Big boy. <laughs> oh, are they out? You gotta. You gotta. Uh, so. TikTok shows videos of a guy walking down these streets and like he would walk Big down boy. and the, the women be hanging out in front of the uh, the little stores. Well, we should put a GoPro on you and have you just walk <laughs> down the street and see what happens. Come play my fucking monkey. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's the best Asian accent ever. It was fucking uh, hangover where this guy was like, that fucking monkey. <laughs> he keeps touching his dick. He was, remember he was the child was sleeping in the tank over two? And they thought they it was like something weird like between the sheets. And the monkey comes up and touching it. It was his fucking penis. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did they have a heart attack before? <laughs> <laughs> Look, they're all in the corner over there. Look at the corner! Did you fucking die? Did you fucking die? <laughs> Did you die? But it's like the the funny thing is like this place has never been like this. No? It just started with the um with the migrants coming in. There's a lot oh more. Oh my gosh, yeah, go this on. Is, it's Yo. just the 
red light district now. On Broadway stages, not just a couple blocks from it, they have like a, a, I guess it's a migrant center, or they just found this corner to hang out. They do everything from like yeah, and haircuts mm -hmm. and they're selling shirts and you know bootlegging things. It's fucking nuts. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's right next to also. There's one right next to the uh, lift, like enlisting center. Mm -hmm. So oh great, people who like can't drive are gonna be lift drivers. No, but I'll tell you right, I'll tell you this, as you grow up in Kamala Harris, I'll tell you one thing though. Mm. They've been doing on 1984 in the fucking media. It's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Like they like it's like I'm I'm like I'm questioning myself. Like, did I actually hear that the, the first time? Because I remember when Biden called her the 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 borders are. I remember that. And then they like, oh, they never did that. They never said that. Some guy made a compilation of when they actually mentioned it back in the day before she started running, where she said Oh yeah, and the borders are. This is the borders are. Then they see them saying, "Oh, we never said there was a borders are." Like they literally trying oh, to do a 1984 on us. It's fucking creepy. Gaslighting. Yeah, Democrats love gaslighting. Yeah. Well, I mean, all politicians. Do. They, all, they do all do it. But I think it's so bad when they doing it on like nowadays. Come on, think about it. Everyone has a phone. Everyone has a television, computer. Media is everywhere in our faces. It's not like you could do, like back in the day when you only had like one television, a radio, and maybe the newspaper. So yeah, they which was you, more controlled. Was more controlled. Like if they lied to you, then you like, okay, I guess it's the truth. Yeah. Now you can fact check these motherfuckers in real time, and they tell you, no, you don't know what you're seeing. Like you're you're, you're lying. Don't trust your lying eyes. Fucking asses. It's like, but gaslighting. Trump does it as well when he talks. They all do it. You know, like he gaslights himself a lot when he. But talks. I think it's worse when you have the entire media who you're supposed to trust to tell you the truth is backing these assholes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's it's That's it's money. Propaganda. It's money. Mm -hmm. People are getting paid to not save. And then idiot voters, they they, they go, yeah, they, they never like you believe them. Like, do your research, bro. They, you know, and if he if she wins, it's going to win purely because of the um, identity politics of it all. Because if Trump attacks her, they're going to use like, oh, he's attacking a black woman. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, she's a minority. She's a woman. They, they showed a clip, not a clip, an article mm -hmm. that when she was running, when she was like running, it said, oh, um, South Asian woman. Really? And then Why now. Did she mention it? <laughs> no, this was years back. Years now back. it's like, oh, black. black. Yeah. yeah. Like and it's Asian like, oh, you got rid of the Asian part now. Mm -hmm. Was she like part Indian? Her so, yeah. mom is Indian, and South, her and Jamaican. her father's Jamaican, and her father's Jamaican. Well, and mind you, a lot of Jamaicans are fucking conservative. Yeah, right? they don't play that shit. Who's your favorite living rapper? <laughs> Tupac. 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 Like, no, they asked her. Well, when you were high, who was your favorite rapper? And she's like Jay Z and Tupac. My bitch, you wasn't even in college. They weren't in the line. They weren't even there when you were in college. And the worst part, she was talking about she was putting people away for for fucking smoking weed, but yet you're doing it yourself. I think she was, uh, I think she was just saying things just to fit in. Yeah, the same thing with Hillary Clinton with the hot sauce in her bag. Like, oh yeah. You want more hot sauce? Right? I remember Elizabeth Warren being like, "I'm the Native American." Come quiet. Like, it's funny when she said that whole hot sauce thing because all the black people bought into it, but white folk were like, "We don't even use hot sauce." We have no seasoning, right, Will? You guys like water, like salt and pepper? Hillary. <laughs> <laughs> salt and pepper. Hillary. Get this the, salt spicy. Get the hot sauce, <laughs> Hillary. We'll put it on my dick. Uh, Hillary. Oh, my God. Hillary. 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 Je Je Jeffy and I are going to the islands. <laughs> we, we got this new thing. Imagine he's like, ah, you don't want to do it? Monica Lewinsky will do it. <laughs> oh, boy. Hillary. Monica does it. Oh, oh. Come here. <laughs> Hillary, we're going to the island with Monica. Get the hot sauce. I do not have sex with that woman. <laughs> yeah, this area is fun. Probably is really it has really good food out here not though. Bad. There was a place that I came to once the sandwich was like this freaking big. Yeah. And like that like thick. four dollars. It was like not eight bucks yeah. or something. Yeah, they eat right here. That's for sure. Oh, you know what I got today? Switch it up. Dick. <laughs> <laughs> got a dick sandwich. Cock meat sandwich. Cock meat. 
<laughs> Melon boys! <laughs> what if it's all omelet? Don't all the meat lovers. Just call it animal lovers. Can you put the animal meat lovers on there, please? Yeah. Because you don't want to say any, give you any type of meat. I just got, I just got, I tried a bagel with bacon. That's it. A bagel with bacon. No egg, no cheese. Really? Bagel, bacon, and butter. Why? Just twist it up. It didn't feel like having eggs. It didn't feel like having cheese. They pounded that fucking shit with bacon. I feel like I'm getting me like just like Oof. three. I used to love all that shit, but now since I changed my whole diet up, I can't eat like. Bacon is a lot of cigarettes. <sighs> Yes. It's like eating yes. One strip of bacon is like two pounds. Some crazy number. Like I've heard about that. Yeah. The, not the cholesterol. There's a word that goes carcinogenic. Yeah, it's like carcinogenic. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Come on, guy. I give you the way. I get, this, this is, is the, the way. way. This is the way. This is my God. way. This is the way. This is the way. See, look, they're all out there. No mm. the point. This is where they do all the, the migrants are like selling their booties. That's what it is. Yep. Okay. Or maybe there's sex traffic then. Well, they, of course, it's definitely sex, yeah. sex traffic. What do you think? They're renting the place? It's <laughs> 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 like these are business women? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to open up an LLC just to suck dick. <laughs> like, suck what? Dick LLC. <laughs> yeah. That's how you do it in Lithuania. <laughs> uh, ma'am, no, I'm sorry. Oh, it's ma'am, please stop, stop untying my belt. No, no, this is not how it works here. Please, please, no, stop. No, don't do it. Please, no, stop. <laughs> no, okay. no, no, please. No capes, darling, no capes. <laughs> Alright, let's go. You see this? Go ahead. You should be incredible, right? <laughs> yeah, see? no capes. I was, I was, I was watching it. You are the Let's Go! It's a great movie. Yeah. Um, people actually died. That's like the uh, one few cartoons I can yeah. think of, but people died. There was a, a deleted scene where the main bad guy, you remember his like uh, little cute like blonde assistant? Yeah. Where like he like licks her face, like yeah, he's like behind her, like just like licks her face. And, they, and apparently that was too raunchy for the. It's like, yeah, people die in that shit. Actually, I saw uh, they say it's deleted scenes from Monster Ball when, you know, when they, they had that sex scene. You ever seen that movie? Monster Ball? Yeah. Wait. But it, it's with Halle, Halle Berry, Berry and Billy Bob Thornton. Yes. And a very intense sex scene. Yeah. So there's some still shots where you can see this motherfucker's ball sack as she's riding it. <laughs> so it, I don't know, man. Did they really have sex on I, camera? I don't know. I mean, according to what someone said, they just they tape down his dick and they, they put like a pussy pad on him. I don't fucking know. I don't know how they do those shoot those shots. Like that's a, yeah, it's a compression uh underwear that they would give the guys. So that way you don't get a I mean you get a hard on but it's like really stuck on you. It's weird though, right? Like how I don't know. Like sex scenes when when it's that intense, like how do you film that comfortably? It's an mm. art form. It's not fun. <laughs> yeah, that's what uh drag drag girls do, drag queens do. You know tape their dick down. Yeah. They, 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 know, they tape it under and they go right up their butthole. Mm. Really? Yeah. They fuck themselves. And it's like they hemorrhoids. They pee in their ass. Yeah. Someone's gotta do it. God damn. They're disgusting. <laughs> <coughs> it's like a fucking third world country. Yeah, it's no, not till you see just mopeds. Only if it's got, you know, dirt rolls and mopeds and. Yeah, it's sad seeing all these like, like great hotels, like Hotel, oh. like Roosevelt, and like now they're like fucking migrants. And that's gonna drop the real estate in that area. Mm -hmm. Now everybody wants to move out. Yeah. Like, why would you be paying all that money for a condominium? Like, and every time you walk downstairs, somebody's begging for money from you or taking yeah. you off the phone. Hotel just Wolcott. Shit in the street. Hotel Wolcott now too. Oh, Isn't it the same? Oh, yeah, it's like taking over. Yeah. Yeah. So how is it for you when you scout places like that? So you have to deal with that also, probably. Like, in... I, mean, I mean, there's a lot of hotels that, of course, are not doing it. But like, mm -hmm. uh, uh, what's tricky is that a lot of the scenes that we're looking for are these, you know, migrant centers. But the best I can do is like an old church. 
the lobby or maybe just like an abandoned building in So is this season just a season of migrants? Pretty much, yeah. Oh, okay. Um What are you doing now? The second episode has to do with a uh, sports betting situation. Hmm. Like a guy gets shot over like a like a sport betting ring. That's good. It's fucking wild. Compelling. Really compelling stuff. <laughs> What is going on here? Me love you long time. Oh, you see one? <laughs> no. Me love you half hour, two hundred dollars. <laughs> no long time. <laughs> no long time. <laughs> half hour. No long time. Me love you half hour. You American lives too long. <laughs> you want to do everything. You want to do everything. <laughs> everything all time. Jesus Christ, I can't. Come, come on. on. Come on. He's probably walking with a cane. He's got hit so many times. He probably hit people with his cane. <laughs> you love your own time. You love your half hour. hour. <laughs> half hour, good. Yeah, good. Good for you. You love me. I get to go home. <laughs> I get to go home to all my kids. I get to rest my feet. <laughs> my husband, he wait for me. Long time. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> my husband wait long time. You half hour. <laughs> Fucking fake. No, no, you get to go to the hotel. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look at there. Yeah, look at there. I heard, I seen something like construction sites. Like they sell their food at a construction site sometimes. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's where they make good money. Yeah. That's I think, mm -hmm. that, and I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, I think that's legit. pretty cool. And it's like it's smart too. Yeah. It's probably cheaper too. You save money. Of course. Yeah. And also, just to be real, a lot of the guys who are doing the construction. You know, they, they come from different places in South America anyway. So it's very convenient for them. But then that kills the fucking restaurants. Like those Colombian restaurants in Queens. Like, oh, yo, yo. <laughs> yeah, but those restaurants are like high price and expensive yeah, too. Yeah, just for one plate. It's like 30 bucks. For the legit stuff. Oh, we saw Roosevelt, man. Yeah, this place never ends. Oh, oh, Park of Americas it should be Park? Park of Venezuela. Of Park of Venezuela. <laughs> Columbia Park. Botanica. Booty. Booty Park. Queens has it all. Queens has everything. Yeah. Maybe it does. <clears throat> Especially clinics. Like, I don't know what's going on with Queens, but it's like a clinic on every fucking yeah. corner. Mm -hmm. Brooklyn, you got like four blocks in front of the next <laughs> You just bleed it out. Ugh. At least you got a coffee shop. You know, at Queens, you get stabbed. <laughs> Easily. That's why I need a clinic. Last night, corner. my citizen app was going off. Man, what a good knife, 400 feet away. Seriously, and I'm like, 400, 400 feet, feet away? Where the fuck? It was on the next block. Really? Yeah. A guy with a knife? A guy with a just knife. Just walking around? Just walking around. Mm. But I don't think nothing was going on. I think someone just saw it and just called him in, and he was just probably... Bought a machete and he's going home. Yeah, <laughs> with his yeah. machete. It's probably like he's just like uh, clipping his, uh, his yard. <laughs> oh. He was making a <coughs> jelly sandwich, you know. <laughs> his cat ran out the way. Oh shit! <laughs> ah, fuck! Kitty, come on! <laughs> Chasing your cat down with a knife. Fluffy, fluffy, <laughs> fluffy, please! <laughs> Double park heaven. The fluffy was a Chinese know. restaurant. I've never seen again. Genius. Einstein over here. De Cache Barbershop. Boy, you got king? Is there a burger? Yeah. Oh, Taste shit. is king. Taste is king. He's so good. You know, he's, so, he's so good. <laughs> booger king. They say, they say booger. Booger, booger so king. Good. Booger king is so good. And he's so sleepy. <laughs> Get to sleep. Nina Cerveza with my booger Those beans must be <laughs> I'm so scared of ghosts. Welcome to the racist <laughs> podcast. <laughs> the world's most electric. Hard R. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This episode will does not say the N word. <laughs> This episode, he says the longest world record. <laughs> the most cancelable <laughs> podcast. Hard R. <laughs> I swear to God. Hard R. 
Bears. If I see another <laughs> one of those bears again, I'm gonna lose my shit, dude. <laughs> No, it's not even hard. It's just grammatically accurate. <laughs> grammatically <laughs> How it was spelled. How God intends. Thanks, <laughs> Nick. <laughs> we censor everything Will says, except for when he says the N word. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be terrible. <laughs> that could that could have worked in two thousand eight. Two thousand eight and seven. That's almost it. Oh god! I, I watched not another teenage movie last that week. Was so oh, yeah. That's with Chris movie. Evans, right? Yeah, it's just a classic fucking great movie. And I love how they make for the Hollywood when they make the geeky girl. It's usually just a hot girl with glasses. <laughs> yeah. Exactly what it is. <laughs> oh, she has pigtails <laughs> and glasses, and she got painted on her overalls. <laughs> God, anyone but her. Yeah, but yeah, she had a rack on some fucking double yeah, dude, It's fucking nuts. <laughs> Janie Briggs is hot. <laughs> I love that movie. Let's take off the glasses. She's hot. She really she, is. Everyone, no one like went, went anywhere in their career except for Chris Evans in that movie. And like, Which is oh, hot. that is true. That's it's wild. like, she's so hot. She didn't, didn't do anything. Janie well, the other girl who played the cheerleader, she went on to do that. She did My Name, my name is Earl, I think. Yeah, yeah, and that's the last time I remember seeing her. I don't think I've seen it after that. Um, my name is Earl. She kind of looks like a busted Margaret Robbie. I never yes. watched uh, My Name is Earl. I loved that show. I, I remember I really when it used it. to come on TV. I used to watch like the first minute and just change it after that. I remember when I worked for NBC. That was like one that remember the store I was working for? Yep, yeah. That mall, the My Name is Earl mall was like one of the most popular mugs we had. It was that and the fucking... The stuff, Office stuff, Office right? Office and Search Central Perk from... Friends. Oh, Friends, yeah. Mm. Which I don't understand how they never made that into a fucking store. Yeah, I know. Like that, oh, that would kill Starbucks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, Central Perks? Yo, can you imagine? Yo. Kill, so it's like Duff Beer. Duff Beer for the Simpsons would kill Buck. I know. I, maybe there's like, maybe they have some kind of Duff. lobbyists who like, yeah, yeah, you can't make that. that. Like, but like, and Alzer Bush is like, if Duff. you make Duff, we'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs> it's a beer hitman. They got some gangster beer <laughs> operations. <laughs> yeah. Hey boss, hey, this is guy making a fucking tough, uh, tough beer. We should tell him. Yo, we, we gotta get rid of him. We gotta get rid of him. Oh, we got City Field. Fucking tough beer. Are they playing a game today? Looks like Fuck it. Fuck yeah, they are. Let's Why go. are we driving to this? Oh, oh the are they, they playing the, the Braves? They fucking. Uh, Yo, they annihilated the Yankees summer. in the Subway Series. Did they? Yo, Yankees. The Yankees is second to dead last. What are you talking about? We were just like in first place like, for like four months. What's what happening? Yeah, and cool. They just, they, I don't know. They just went south. They did the same thing last year. It was like they started off hot and just. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they did a lot to choke. Mets are, Mets are doing well. I mean, they absolutely crushed. The so Mets next time, night. if you go see a game, this is where we park, right yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Where the trees are. Easy access in and out too, because yeah, look, the entrance is right there. Have you guys watched Wide Receivers on Netflix? No, uh, I have to see those so on my watch list. Yeah. It's, it's good. So good. Probably better than freaking quarterbacks. It's was way so, better. The quarterback one was so, like, it, dull. They just like, should have called like masturbating that, on the quarterback it, scene. Yo, they should have oh, just called the like Patrick nighttime. Mahomes show. But that whole yeah. thing was just Patrick Mahomes. Like night. His wife is annoying. Patrick Mahomes, yeah. And I like Patrick, but your, your wife is annoying. Kittle is great, but... I can't, um, what's his name? St. Brown, um, St. I'm, I'm on St. Brown. Do you know he speaks fluent German? Oh, my bo my brother. Huh? Really? Yeah. No, 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 no. His Your mother is German. Is, uh, his father back. was an American bodybuilder. He met his mother in Germany. And he speaks fluent German. Because, like, she made him practice every morning when he went to school. Really? So he knows it fluently. With the accent and all that. Yeah, once you get that accent down, yeah, you can really it. speak it good. Yeah. That's why I love to like learn Mandarin and just go to Chinatown and just order a perfect like, Peking duck in Mandarin. There's this guy on YouTube that does that. White guy. Yeah. And he speaks, I don't know how many languages he know, but like he would go into like, he would speak Swahili, um, uh, Hindi, um, Chinese, Mandarin, and he would just go into these places and like watch how they talk shit about him and then he'll then he'll just talk to them in their language yeah. and then they're like oh shit how do you like and he's like yeah i yeah, know bitch. 
heard what you said. I think cool to have like an encyclopedia of this language in your head. That's like, ah, yeah. that's crazy, man. That's why you gotta start really young. You want your kids to learn yeah. when they're sponges, man. Yeah. It's, it's, I mean, some adults could pull it off, but it takes a lot of time. You probably work for like a pretty good job in the government, too. Like mm -hmm. Some kind of like service. Yeah, you could definitely do a lot of shit. I still don't understand how the fucking John Cena knows Mandarin. Yeah, but it's kind of butchered, isn't it? No, apparently he gets a very good grasp of it. It's like fluid for me. He does all the, he does all the spokes people shit for him. Target. Target? Target. 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 <laughs> Welcome to Target. <laughs> Isn't it Target? No, that's a fact. Target. We were uh, in Atlantic City, we were super sleep deprived and like, I guess we were just like making shit up and we were like, ah, oh, I just have a job at a hotel. Welcome to Claridge. Oh, Welcome yeah. to Claridge. And like, why is the first job you thought of <laughs> was like a greeter? <laughs> Welcome to Claridge. It's like that job was just hell. Welcome to Claridge. I don't even want to talk about it. I know, I'm sorry. It's, it's it just up. like, it's just one of those things where we went through so much fucking hell on one job mm. and it's like I don't even want to talk about it I don't even want to like yeah relive those memories like the worst job ever Ugh. yeah and everybody on that job was a freaking car salesman yeah it, it, I think it took it took some uh, months out of our lives for sure on that one it's just don't worry Will you'll be fine count on the other hand <laughs> I'm distraught I'm just fucking done Welcome to Claridge. Welcome to Claridge. <laughs> Welcome to Claridge. <laughs> you remember I was just standing there? <laughs> Marcus, I was standing there and I'm like, Welcome to Claridge. <laughs> and Will was looking at me, he's like, You okay? I was like, No, I'm just welcome to Claridge. <laughs> and he was like, Are you okay? I was like, I might as well quit my job and just be a greeter at this fucking hotel. Welcome to Claridge. It's like, Why you gotta keep saying that? I don't know what happened to me. I broke, I malfunctioned. Function. Function. Malfunctioned. <laughs> I malfunctioned. <laughs> Yeah, what up, girl? You want to show Mal Falky real quick? I literally, my brain hit the error, 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 error button. Error, 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 error. Error. I'm trying to do a, like a Michael Douglas. Like, uh, I want to have sex. Isn't he... Sweet, sweet. Who's his wife? Uh, Catherine Zeta Jones. Catherine Zeta Jones. I heard Hollywood, somebody in Hollywood was like, they're the, they're the worst couple in the history of couples. Really? Wow. They're just so, so rude. They, they fight with each other or they're just rude <laughs> no, to they're everyone? They're rude people. Like, they're like perfectly matched. Like, they're both <laughs> equally rude. So they're just a bad couple. Like, nice. I love the way you just spat on that waiter. <laughs> you could turn oh. me on. You probably have sex with a bad I'm going to have sex with your pussy. <laughs> Like he doesn't even mm. pull out. Like he pulls out and like jizzes on the floor just so he knows someone's got some money. On a door handle. On a door handle. <laughs> you like that? That's when I do that to you. <laughs> oh my god, Michael Douglas. <laughs> Michael Douglas. <laughs> <laughs> she calls him <laughs> She says his full name. Like, yeah, it's Catherine so Zeta Jones. Oh, oh, Michael Douglas. Michael Beep <laughs> Douglas. And I they only him. and they only have sex like a handicapped bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck her people. <laughs> Meanwhile, there's a guy in a wheelchair. Uh, I need to go. I really gotta go. Please, 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 please. Yeah, I love when you stick it on my ass. <laughs> Anything for you, Michael Douglas. Hi. I'm rude actor, Michael Douglas. But you go to the restaurant, so you want smoking, not smoking, not smoking. And he pulls out a cigarette. <laughs> You said not smoking. This is a vape. No <laughs> vaping. Not smoking. Smoking right in your kids' faces. <laughs> Blowing smoke in your kids' faces. Mom, I can't breathe. They, they bring roaches and put on the food so uh -huh. to pay. <laughs> <laughs> like, sir, you know this food is getting comp to you because you're Michael Douglas. <laughs> Still. <laughs> Fuck. Time to go to another restaurant. Catherine Zeta Jones. <laughs> Time to go to another restaurant. My wife, Catherine Zeta Jones. Has he done anything recently? Ant Man. <laughs> Quantum Mania. Oh, oh yeah. So okay. bad. And what about Catherine? I haven't seen her. I haven't, her. Seen, her in, I haven't seen her in anything. The only thing I remember her is in the Zorro movies. She was in yes. The she was in Trapman. Ever seen that movie? Trapman? Mm -hmm. The Trapman. Oh, no. It's your friend Pierce Brosnan. Uh-oh. Fall died. 
Great job, Will. Great job. <laughs> always, he always comes here with a. Uh... <laughs> He'd be like the camera loader who does his. Oh, that always sucks at his job. All <laughs> like, the oh, batteries are oh. fucking drained. God, yeah. <laughs> you were supposed to. You have one job. <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry, boss. <laughs> I'm sorry, boss. I'm sorry, me, boss. Uh, hey, boss. Hey, what are you doing with the camera, boss? <laughs> Lick the lens. <laughs> comes in with five percent on his phone. All right, you remember? All right, now have you got to. I gotta do a throwback on this one. Will, remember you said Captain Cumbeard? Yeah. I found out that they said pirates used to fuck each other. <laughs> Cause they spent so much time on sea. Oh, <laughs> Captain Combat is true. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so black beard really has a white beard. Just um, ca 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 Captain Jack Combat. Yeah. Jack the Sparrow's over here taking dicks in the ass. The, the, the most feared pirate of the seven seas. Captain Combat. Oh God, no! He's boarding the plane. He's boarding the ship. Oh shit! Captain I touched my mic. Did it fall? Yeah, I didn't. I forgot. I had a fucking. Is it? There's no way you could actually put like uh, charge his phone while. It's... No, because he has like the. Well, there's another port right there. But is it like one of these ports? Yeah, it's one of those. No, no, no. 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 Great job, William. Hey, we're at an hour anyway. Phil. Your new name is not Will. It's just Phil. It's the Phil. You're gonna go German. Phil the William. Phil William. Of course, of course. Who who was just who was honking the horn there? Asian person. Stop. Nah, see, <laughs> it's all about everyone's not honking their horn. We all know we're sitting in traffic, but that guy's honking his horn. I wonder what is going on. Maybe it's like an event. It's the Mets. But that's like miles back there, right? Yeah, but I think it's all like, you know. Oh, got it. Oh, I got oh, it! Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. Alright. Wait, should we do top five? Top five. Well, I don't even know what a top five is. Top five races. Top five This is just, <laughs> it's it's not fact. This is just opinion based now. Okay, I'll start. <laughs> <laughs> Number one, white. White <laughs> people. Is, is German a race? <laughs> just like, what do white people do so great? Cars. <laughs> cars. 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 Civilization, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Basketball. Guns. Guns. <laughs> medical. Medical care. Med 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 care. Clothing. Glasses. Acting. Lingerie, shoes, hats. Where are we going? Anyway, Should we I guess we're gonna end it. Electricity. We're gonna end it. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>